Juno is the capital. It's a city about 35,000 inhabitants. It's not a very huge town, but it's also very charming. As soon as you get to Juno, you have the Mount Roberts, which is amazing. The view from Mount Roberts in a day like this, when it's sunny, you can see the whole area. Some of the most beautiful trails that we have in the area, if you want to have contact with nature and wildlife, are in Juno. Near Juno, you have a giant ice field. You have 1,500 square miles of ice field in the background of Juno. And we have one of the most accessible glaciers, that which is the Mendenhall Glacier. You have the Blue Caves, you have many trails over there. If you think about glaciers, you're going to, you have to think about Juno and Skagway. This is the glacier place. During the Klondike Gold Rush, in 1898, gold was discovered in the Yukon Territory. And we had two main entrances for Bennett Lake, Skagway, and we had Dai. When the gold was discovered in this area, the population of Skagway jumped from 30 people to 30,000 people in one year. Skagway was a very important city by that time. Today it's a touristic city. It's short, it's small. You got some beautiful things like the Red Onion Saloon, which is a brothel museum with magnificent stories like uh, Soapy Smith and his gang of 300 men about the showdown between him and, and Frank Raid that causes the, the death of both men. So it's interesting. Ketchikan, in the area, you have two very beautiful natural attractions, which is the Misty Fjords. A fjord is a channel that is left behind when you have the recession of a glacier. So we got many beautiful fjords. And we have also the Tongas National Park near the city, which is virtually the entire southeast of Alaska because it's about 17 million of acres of area. So whatever you do, you go to Tongas National Park and you will have fun. And if you're looking for information <clears throat> about the First Nations or the Native, Native Americans here, like the Aidas, the Tsimshans, the Hlengets, if you're looking for culture, this is the place. We have Saxman Native Village, which used to be a village in the south side of the city. Nowadays, it's been transformed into one of the most important and most visited tourist centers in southeast of Alaska. We have the highest concentration of totem poles over there. There is a special way to read the totem pole from the bottom to the top. Usually we have the effigy of the person that we were talking about in the totem pole. It's part of their culture and it is, it's very rich. I like Creek Street in Ketchikan. We have this wooden board walk where we have Dolly's house, which used to be a, a brothel. This is another color of Alaska, another part of the prisma that is, uh, Alaska is composed of. Thank you.